Hey everybody, how's it going? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Crash Bandicoot Warped. So, what are we doing today? Guess what? We're 30% done with this game. We're doing damn, damn good to start off. So today, we are saying bye-bye to some blips because Coco gets to do all the fun levels. Jeez, I feel really bad for Crash. Every time she gets to do a level, he ends up having to break his face on the floor. But that's okay. He's a resilient young man with his life ahead of him. Dude, this level's so much fun. We literally get to fly a plane and go blow up blimps and have unlimited supplies of ammunition. I'm gonna try to get the uh, get the gem for this one too, so you just gotta knock out pretty much all the balloons. Or, yeah, all the balloons, because all the balloons have a box on them, and blah, 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 there's 11 of them. So it's, it's, uh, it's something. I'm pretty much, um, I'm, I decided to do one of these tonight. I'm kind of burning a little bit of time before I go to the premiere of Iron Man tonight, because, uh, Dude, it's really weird. They're doing a, the premiere for that. It's like not like your traditional midnight showing. They're doing, uh, they're doing a nine o'clock premiere for it. It's really weird. I'm not used to them doing that. Like, why would they do that? Oh no! Okay, there we go. Can't can't allow ourselves to die here. This would be bad. Also, I need to make sure that I blow up all of the uh, the balloons or take out all the boxes before I take out the uh, all the blimps. So you take out the last blimp before. You know, you've dealt with that, then you're gonna end up having completed the level because it gives you the, it gives you the crystal directly after you uh, directly after you blow up the last blimp. So we need to make sure that we're doing this correctly. And apparently, there's a whole bunch of apples stored up in these things. That's that's what they're you know toting around up here. Apparently, there's no house in this area. We're just we're we're out in rural America at the moment. America. Okay, we need to do two more over here. No, knock it off. Stop it right now. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, there's our gem. Yeah, baby. So there's that. Got it out of the way pretty easily. Dude, she looks hard as hell over there. You know, she kind of, she totally looks like, uh, like she could be like Roxanne from a Goofy movie. Man, she was hot. I take that back. She was not. She was a dog. <laughs> She was literally a dog. She was a fucking dog face. What's hard to get about that? But uh, yeah, dude, the Iron Man's gonna be sick. I I've been uh, I've been on like a marathon all week watching all the Iron Man movies to get myself a nice refresher course. Damn, two in a row. Sick. She's she's taking the spotlight today. But um, yes, yeah, so that, that'll that'll be cool. But it sucks. I uh, I went and, I went and did some stupid shit and I went and hurt my arm um, when I was working out at the gym the other night. I actually, uh, I busted my bursa sac in my elbow, and so I can't, like, extend my left arm all the way, and so it's really, really awkward to hold this controller right now. Like, it's not that bad, because, I mean, nobody really plays video games with their arms fully extended or anything, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a pain in the ass knowing that, like, I, I can't, like, if I really wanted to do it, I can't do it. Like, I have to have, like, somebody... I, like I had my I had my mom like stretch out my arm all the way earlier and it was really awkward. So I had to like strain super hard for it. This level's kind of tricky. There's there's a couple of different routes you can take here where they're gonna try to hide boxes and shit. So you have to you just have to you gotta be on your toes here. It's it's uh it's one if you wanna if you wanna get the gem for this you gotta you gotta definitely go the extra mile for it. Din, din, din. Okay, so, yeah, there's a box right there. Yeah, I'm definitely making this a lot harder than it has to be. Uh, it, oh, boy. Jeez. I kind of wish you could take take this thing, like, up on the sand. Oh, boy. What type of... What kind of job description is that? So what am I going to be doing for you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cortex? Well, if you want to know... I'm going to have you sit in a pod in the middle of the water, and I'm going to have you swing around an anchor and hope that maybe they decide to go by that area. If they don't, well, then you're just going to have wasted a lot of time. But, you know, at, here at, at Cortex Incorporated... I just went through that box. I didn't do anything. Here at Cortex Incorporated, we take the road less traveled for killing people. There we go. <laughs> yeah, for that guy. Oh, we're just going to have you... Uh, we're going to have you take your... We're gonna have you take your boat and just row around in a circle, and hopefully they'll run into you with their jet ski, which would, you know, definitely hurt them, or would hurt you more than it would hurt them, but that's okay. 
we, we, we don't put that in your plan. Oh, no! No, go, you idiot! Jeez, I'm not trying to get eaten by a shark right now. That would be bad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to have this, uh, this injury of mine healed up in no time at all. I, I would rather not be stuck with this injury for any extended period of time. Luckily, it's not like a permanent damage type of situation. It's something that'll it'll more or less heal itself in about a week or so. So, just uh, hoping that that decides to hurry the hell up, because oh, there's an extra life down there. Well, I'll have to get it then. It'll be the first time that we've actually had any reason to do the dive bomber! Oh, I didn't even... I wasn't going fast enough. Well, what type of bull hell is that? Bull hell, I tell you. I'm getting all red assed about it. It's pissing me off. You mother, there you are pissing me off. Go, baby, go. There we go. We should be in pretty good shape here. I think that we're. I don't think I've missed anything yet. But with my luck, I'll be like, oh yeah, there was that one box that you blatantly missed that was right out in plain sight. Because that's just what I do. I do all the obvious things that should never happen ever. No. There we go. Gosh. Those stupid ass bombs. That's all, that's another thing I like about this game is that they actually have like water physics. Like they're not just gonna You know like how in some like some games on the water levels they'll have like mines sitting there, but they just sit in like a static position, like they don't move anywhere. Well, that's one thing I like about this game. They they actually, you know, gave physics to these things in the water. They actually move around a little bit, they bob about. And they're just being like, oh yeah, by the way, there's water here, but I'm like totally fucking glued to my position. Don't even worry about it. What? I missed five whole boxes? Where? <laughs> I don't even know. Whatever. I'll deal with it later. I'm not going to deal with your crap right now. Because I'm not wearing hockey pads. What have you? Oh, sick. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I knew I was going to like this episode, damn it. This is my favorite level in the entire game, right here. Future Frenzy, for a couple of reasons, actually. I, I love the futuristic part of it. Not to mention the song that plays for this level is so awesome. So, Crash Bandicoot, we meet again. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I've made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. So back off, or be deleted! <laughs> okay. Do those modifications involve putting a live rocket into your brain? Is that one of them? Mr... I, what the hell is that guy's name again? Like, Engine? Yeah, listen to this song. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start going, but listen to this. By the way, does this not remind you of, like, a Guitar Hero fretboard right here? Because it's got three different colors on it. And that's totally the first thing that it that I thought of when I played this like, like a couple of weeks ago. Now this is one I don't know if we can get the uh, I don't know if we can get a gem the first time through it. I think that we have to we gotta we gotta play a little bit of uh, mind games here. Oh no! Was he just playing a uh, what the hell was the name of that thing? Um, a didgeridoo? I think he was just playing a didgeridoo. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, dude, this is uh, this was definitely my favorite level when I was a little kid. I was so happy the first time I saw this level because you know, being like a you know, being a '90s kid, like all the cartoons and like all the shows involving anything like futuristic, everybody thought that this is what it was gonna be like after the year like 2000, and it's definitely not. I mean, not at all. <laughs> we don't have we don't have like anything like this at all. But, I don't know, it was like, this only just about, like, when you were a little kid, and you thought of, like, the future, you, like, you, everybody thought of, like, flying cars, and you thought of, like, I mean, everybody kind of had, like, that, that perception that it was going to be kind of like the Jetsons, where, you know, everything was on conveyor belts, and, you know, you could fly from place to place like this, you'd go on, step on a platform, and it would fly you halfway across, you know, the city to go wherever the hell you wanted. And, uh, you know, just everything, like, you know, there'd be, like, spaceships like this, where, you, you know, you could do, you could just do this. I love that guy. I don't really have any attacks here, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, just, uh, whatever. <laughs> or these things. Hey, I got an idea. I'm gonna throw a couple of, uh, weird, like, ethereal barbells out there and see what happens. See if maybe he runs into one of those. Because, you know, everybody's gotta do some squats out in the middle of the street. 
Hey man, I'm trying to get my pump right now. Fuck yeah, man. Or this guy. Oh, you know, it's, it's the shock the ground. I made a shocking discovery about what I could do with this thing. I love this thing. This is probably my favorite platform in the game. Whoa! You would get really, really dizzy. Oh, I don't like that thing at all. It's all spiny. It's all spiny and gross. The, fun, the, the death animation that Crash has for that thing when he steps on it is really funny, though. He, like, deflates like a balloon, and he, like, makes a weird, like, farting noise when he goes on it. It's like... But not as loud. I thought it was funny. I'll be honest, I'm 25 years old, and I still think that farting noises are funny. But then again, honestly, who doesn't? You, you can't honestly tell me that, you know, you being... You know, anybody in the age between whatever to whatever... You can't tell me that you don't like farting noises. There's just, that's just like, it's a hidden treasure of the world. Everybody loves farting noises. That's just what it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the, the very first, when I, I, know, I know that I told you guys about the whole thing already. About me, you know, in my spare time when I was young, designing bonus stages for this game. Uh, this was the first style of one that I did when I was messing around with them, just because I love the whole futuristic thing. Another thing that I like is I like how they tell you, like, the power-ups that you'll need to get over the, each obstacle. So, for somebody that, you know, I mean, you should you should be able to figure it out just by using your brain, but, you know, some people aren't always that observant. But it's kind of cool, like, they'll, you know, they give you at least a little bit of assistance. Ooh, there we go. Excelente. Moving along nicely. God, we have 71 lives. Yeah, like I said, these games are not hard to stockpile these types of things in. It's, it kind of reminds me of like a like Super Mario World. Uh, that's definitely a game where it's not hard to get a lot of lives. Or Super Mario 3, it's very, very easy to accumulate extra people. Oh boy. There we go. Again, I still don't know why they're just choosing to put these things right out in the open for people to take. Oh crap. Yep, forgot about that. Kind of makes me wonder what uh, what the little mask guy decides to say every time he takes damage. He just like spouts off a bunch of weird gibberish. Why are you down there? I don't even know why you're down there. It's not benefiting anybody really. Yeah, another lack of gem action for me there. But you know what? It's all right. I'll take it. We weren't even supposed to get it yet. That will come around at a different time, you know? Yeah, I think he needs to go get that rocket in his head thing looked at. Alright guys, well, we're out of time for now. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice play on Tomb Raider, obviously, but that's, a, that's actually a really fun level. I'm going to enjoy that one when we get around to it. So... That will be our first objective when we come back. So, uh, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get ready to go down to, uh, to the theater and uh, go wait in line for Iron Man. I'll let you guys know how it is. It's going to be pretty sick. So, uh, you guys have yourselves a nice evening, morning, afternoon, whatever the hell it is. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.